Do you want to know what's the best budget friendly pump? Keep on watching! Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and if you want to see more videos related to pumping or breastfeeding, be sure to click that subscribe button below so you won't miss a thing. In this review, we are going to talk about the RH228 Mother Manual Double Electric Breast Pump. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the parts and then we are going to judge the pump by its price, its ease of use, its portability, and its durability. And then at the later part of this video, I'm also going to share with you my personal experience about this pump, the pros and cons, and then my recommendation. So, let's begin. When you purchase the pump, of course, you are going to get the pump's motor and then they are going to give you um, a set of tubings and then the cap the cap, the silicone diaphragm, the body with the flange already attached, and then 150ml bottle and duckbill or what they also call valve. So let's get straight to judging the pump. For the price, you already have a crazy good deal, guys, because if you live in the Philippines, you can purchase this pump for like 500 to 600 pesos if you buy it through Shopee or Lazada, or if you're from the other part of the world, you could also purchase the same pump for around 9 to $20 through eBay or through Walmart. And it's not called the best budget-friendly pump for no reason, right? For ease of use, it has obvious options, but if you want to know how to use it, I will try and remember and put a, a link in the description box below. You can check that out. And um, this is the pumps motor. It has four options, easy to recognize. This one here is for the power option, on and off. Um, the plus sign is for stronger suction. Uh, the dash sign is for softer suction. And this one right here is for the two-phase expression mode, which are the stimulation mode and the expression mode. For portability, it's very, very lightweight. You can use it or bring it anywhere with you. I could tell that it's even lighter than the smartphones that we have, but the catch is it's not battery operated. So even if its size is very, very portable, you really have to look for a power source or at least bring a power bank with you. So whenever you use it, even if you don't have an outlet for electricity, you can still pump on the go. For durability, this is a very, very cheap pump. It's mostly made out of plastic, so let's not expect it to be as durable as the other high-end pumps out there, but with proper care, and if you won't sit on it, and considering you won't drop it a lot of times, this can last you up to, I think, a year or so, because I bought this, and I'm using this um, when my baby was still two months old, and my baby is nine months now, so you get the gist of it, right? Hey, are you still with me? If you are, let me know in the comments below if this video has been useful to you so far. Now for personal thoughts and recommendations, I like this pump because it's cheap, gets the job done, it's lightweight, and it has two-phase expression mode guys, just like the higher end pumps. What I don't like about this pump though, is even if it's lightweight and portable, it's not battery operated, so I think it beats the purpose of it being lightweight and being portable also it has an issue of its pumps motor getting hot easily it's very annoying and very unsafe for me <laughs> also even if every mom is different i'm gonna tell you this comfort is not its best feature so you have to be mindful when you plan to purchase this pump but i recommend this one to those moms who really need to pump and in a tight budget because like I said earlier, this is a budget friendly pump. It gets the job done. It has two phase expression mode. So for its price, I think you have already a crazy good deal. And I also recommend this one to those moms who just occasionally pump or looking for a backup pump. I don't recommend this one to exclusively pumping moms, but this is, um, I think if you're a new mom, if you're just, you know, testing the waters, in pumping in your pumping journey this is a good pump for you to start with so i think that's everything i have to say in this review if you think this video has been useful to you please click the thumbs up comment down below if you have anything else to say or anything else to add about this review any questions i'm gonna check it out later and also thank you for watching Bye bye